Good evening, guys. It's 5.30 p.m., which means it's time for Gist, Banter, all that is trending and exclusive on social media. You're watching Afia TV Official on Afia TV. My name is Favor Obinyalba, your official Gist buddy. And of course, I never do the show alone. We are going to be talking about all of things that are trending and things that are making, you know, making the waves on social media and what more to discuss than this you know, trending conversation that is just taking the whole of social media, the whole of Nigeria, Nollywood in general by storm, and it is the death of Junior Pop Undowudu. And um, we'll go on a very quick break. When we return, I'm going to, you know, introduce you to my very special guest. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the show. You're still watching Afia TV official on Afia TV. And like I said, today um, we're going to majorly be discussing um, the very, very tragic um, event that happened yesterday. And, you know, for to have this conversation, I have my fellow G's body for today, the very beautiful Chinaza Ume, a.k.a. Cheese Ume. Where did you get the nickname Cheese from? Um, well, my name, my Actual nickname is Cheesy. I was born with that one. My parents used to call me that. Okay. And from that, I just, I don't know, people say calling me Cheese, Cheese Balls, just different variations. So, and that's my Instagram handle. So, your Instagram handle is what? Cheese with me? Cheese with me, yeah. Cheese with me. Okay, so that's how I basically you just started. People just call you Cheese. Yeah. So, you're a student. What school are you in? Yeah, I'm in you, the University of Nigeria, any good campus, even though my school is actually. The hospital, like the teaching hospital, because I'm a medical student. Oh, okay. So, what year? I'm in 500 level. 500 level. What are you studying? Medicine, Medicine and, and surgery. surgery. Oh, okay. I graduated in 2022, so we, I don't think we ever crossed paths at all. Yeah. I never got to meet you. No, it's fine. It's fine. Don't try to break. I'm telling you. <laughs> I, I, I remember faces and... From what has happened today in the studio, I now know that you don't remember faces. No. So you are horrible with faces. I remember people when I've had interactions with, with them. them yeah. Not really. But me, I remember faces. If I see somebody on the road, if I've seen you before, it sticks. Which is just funny because all that things that I want to stick to my mind do not stick. <laughs> but when it comes to faces, like if I've seen somebody somewhere before, I remember. I don't, I don't I forget faces. I think I'm good with dates. Dates. Is that yeah. what you're good with? I don't. I'm good with dates too. I mean, those small, 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 small things that people don't really. Yeah, those I things. think it's just a woman thing. But you are not a woman. <laughs> you don't remember faces. <laughs> how, is, how is like? How is it like? Cause I know my friends that are, are like medical doctors. Sorry, medical students. You know, five hundred. You probably know one of my friends. I think she's in six hundred. No, she's in five hundred. She's just. Especially if I watch it, I swear I know. I know your class. <laughs> but yeah, um, I. I know most of my friends that are medical students, and I know how stressful it, it, it is. Second MB, first MB, third MB, MB, that doesn't MB end. The end. MB know the end. And it can be very, very crazy, but what's one of the most difficult things about being a medical student for you? Okay, for me, I think it's that it takes up a lot of your time. Like, people don't, like, you would tell people, somebody, Cheesy, how are you? How are you doing? What are you doing up to these days? I'm writing exams. You call me two months later, I'm writing yes, exams. exams. And people, sometimes people think you're lying, but it's not really... I mean, they are really, like, sometimes you take... You have to learn to, like, manage your time and take time when you can. Because it does it literally doesn't stop. Like, you only get, like, short breaks. Especially, like, as a full... Okay, I think as a student, you're even chill but like right after school when you're doing like your house job and your nys is crazy but i don't know yeah. it's doable it is doable people have done it before but yeah. i think it's one really one of the most demanding things which is just time and they say oh you know this is the best these are the best years of your life get to mingle with people get to socialize blah 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 but then you can't just need the you can't count books. oh my god you can't count many times you've looked away from your book and it's you know crazy. studying to save people's lives is another thing that the pressure of it alone and it's worse in nigeria really really worse in nigeria and with all the laws and policies that unn has unec has if you write this one you fail out if you do this one you're failing well that okay happens. change that change is like that's the thing, it changes. You will not know. Okay, it's anytime that I talk to any medical student, like, oh, I did not pass this exam, I'm like, okay, what does this mean? Because sometimes <laughs> <That's really laughs> it means different, different things. things. Sometimes it could mean that you would you would write it. Other times yeah, you mean you would yeah, have to step so down. Other times actually, you mean you have to start from first day. It's just very, very crazy. So I'm like, okay, what does this mean? 
okay, what's the solution? Is there a way out? Or sometimes you could even go to another department. It's really, yeah, really, it's really crazy. crazy. But let's yeah. move away from oh, your neck and all these troubles. I wish you the very best. I have been Thank delivered. You. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Jesus, for my life. <laughs> but let's um, start with Junior Popundo Wodo. So now, for people who do not know who Junior Popundo Wodo is, he's a Nollywood actor. He is one of the actors that has been acting for a really long time. Like, I remember, like, I think he should have started acting, like, in the early 2010s. I think that was his era. 2010. So he has, he has like at least, I'm sure, of 15 years of experience. He's somebody that's been acting for a really, really long time. He's a prolific actor. He's educated. And, you know, yesterday we lost him. So we first heard news that he had died, according to Drowning. So funny thing, or I won't say funny, I would say scary thing was he actually made a video yeah. when they were crossing the river. I think they had like some scenes in the river and whatnot. So he was like, you know, made a video, you know, up to, obviously to update his fans, like, oh yes, I'm we are currently swimming, or we are currently passing the Niger. Look at the risk we take too. He was not wearing a life jacket. The the um, boat rider was also not wearing a life jacket. You know, there was no form of security or whatever on that particular boat when he was riding. And the funny thing was, he was saying, "Oh, I have a father of three. I'm a father of three. Blah 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 blah." And saying all those things, and everybody was like, "Oh, yay!" You know, those were the comments. And then a few hours later, we heard that he had passed, like suffered drowning. Now it gets creepier because later we heard that he has survived. He's out and you know he regained consciousness and he took him to the mortuary and the mortuary um, attendant was like he's not yet dead. Then after you know a couple of hours they tried to resuscitate him or whatever and they finally found out that he was confirmed dead. Let's take a look at the um, comments before because you're a medical student and yeah. I think you can let me not put you on the spot. <laughs> can you give us like some safety measures, CPR, something like that? Can you talk about it? Okay, not now. But can you? Okay, I can. Okay, I have. Yes. I can. Let me not put like you on the spot. Point Just you know. Yeah. So now this is Junior Popundo. You've probably seen him before. Yeah. Um, and this is him with his boys, and this is him with his wife, and he has really young children. Really, really young children. This is him with his wife. Um, Peter B um, wrote a condolence message and was like, "I'm shocked by the reports of the death of yet another vibrant Nollywood actor." Pope Obumneme Odowodo, popularly known as Junior Pope. Our entertainment industry and indeed our dear nation is once again thrown into mourning by the death of this young, talented actor. This is so sad. RIP to Junior Pope. By the way, what is happening in Hollywood, self? So, um, Frank Walker Jr. also made a condolence message and said, The passing of John Paul. On the world, the popular known as Junior Pope is a is a painful loss in many ways. My deepest condolences to Jennifer Awele, their three children, his family, and the entire Nollywood community. My heart also goes out to the families of the other yet to be identified victims of this tragic accident. The events leading up to these deaths are simply unacceptable and completely avoidable. While we mourn with their family, friends, and colleagues, we must also address the lawlessness, nonchalance, and disregard disregard for life of for life by all the parties involved. The absence of safety measures while traveling by boat, the lack of first aid knowledge by the responders at the scene of the accident, the preposterous report that Junior Pope was taken to ritual is first, when found to still be alive, and the vulturing behavior of content creators to capture the entire ordeal are all indicators of the complexities of the Nigerian problem. We can only pray that this incident is jarring enough to effect the necessary changes in our approach to regulation of public service, emergency response, and personal responsibility in crisis situations. May we remember the dead for the value they delivered while alive. I can imagine how his family, how his wife and kids will be feeling now. A strong, vibrant man, gone just like that. This life has no meaning. May we not lose our lives while we are hustling for our daily bread. So, now, one of the things that is always very jarring, and I, I just to take words from Frank Weke, and is the fact that they, there was there's a lot of controversies around it. The people were like, oh, let, let them go and do ritual to appease the spirits of River Niger, and what, which I don't know. Please give this young man CPR, give this man first aid, we want to go and appease spirits, really? <laughs> then it, everybody, people were recording. Nobody knew what to do. Everybody was recording. There were cameras in his face, cameras everywhere, cameras everywhere. Like, is this what this person needs at this time? Like, is it that there's nobody at that point in time that doesn't know anything about first aid? Nobody knows anything about CPR. What everybody just doing is create content, create content. Oh, this is him now. This is progress report. This is, this is, this is. What, what are the first aid measures that should have been taken at that point in time? Okay. Um, well, in school, I just did my emergency, children emergency postings. So a major part of what they teach us in school is like, 
emergency situations are quite different from somebody walking into the hospital and the person's oh my tummy is paining me in emergency situations time is key like you have to be fast True. so there are certain things you do let me say if it's like a burn injury you have to or somebody's bleeding you have to stop the bleeding in this case they it's easy to point fingers at maybe the producer or something but Initially, you said they were not wearing life jackets. No life jackets. There was no security. First of all, these all these things are supposed to be in place, and then people and then people will also take advantage of situations because maybe at that point they don't know what to do. The fastest thing is oh, text somebody, tweet something, somebody will come, but you can't do it because they don't teach this in schools. Like yeah. nobody knows how to do CPR. So and then the people that are supposed to do do it are not there. So like. A lot of the somebody one of the comments you read said it's a, it was it is a totally avoidable situation. Very and very like, avoidable. Like this are, guy, like if somebody was there on set, it would have been accidents happen. So like they are in the middle of the sea, obviously. So I don't know. They could have in this situation if he was drowning, CPR could have been. If there was a, I don't know if you want me to go into the fine Obviously, details. Obviously, I don't want you to go into the fine details. But of CPR. the whole point of it is that the security measures should have been in place. And honestly, for me, even even before like accidents happen, mistakes happen. Like it's yeah. a normal, it's a natural thing. But what we should also always strive to do is to prevent these things. You yeah. should not be in the sea with a ninja for crying out loud. And then you don't have a life jacket. There is no diver on ground. Nobody that knows you. You say if like, you're not scared, I you're like, you, guys, I'm in the middle of the sea. Like, I get the whole thrill and, oh, yes, I'm doing this. Yeah, what's up? But like, don't you okay. care about... If you really... Let me shut up my mouth because I don't want to go and over say because... It, it, it's very, very sad now that... And one of the reasons why this is even becoming a lot more annoying is because of our next story, which is yeah. Actors Guild of Nigeria now has decided to um, ban all um, movie sets or all movies that has um, that has um, riverine areas. They've banned the producer, Adam Aluk, um, from people working with her as well. A lot of people are shading and bashing this producer. And um, so now this is the message from the Actors Guild of Nigeria. And it's saying, following the tragic... Incident of boat mishap that claimed the life of Mr. John Paul Odowodo, aka Junior Pope, Junior Pope, and four other crew members at waterside of Niger River Niger Cable Point Asaba on 10th of April 2024 on a movie set titled The Other Side of Life, produced by Adam Maluk. The leadership of the guild has taken the following decisions. All films that involve riverine areas and boat riding is hereby suspended indefinitely. No shoots on all locations nationwide on Thursday, 11th April 2024, so there are no shoots today. The film titled Another Side of Life is suspended indefinitely. No actor is allowed to work with Adam Maluk as a producer to further notice. While we keep searching for the bodies of the remaining persons, may their soul rest in peace. So now we, there are two people that their bodies, the makeup artist and I think one of the, was it the assistant director or something like that? There was one other person. Oh, the sound guy, yeah. So the makeup artist and the sound guy, their bodies are still in the water. They've not been found up to now. Sorry. So now, now it's now that the time the actors guild is now saying that okay, they're not going to ban riverine areas and they should not work with Adam Malik as a producer until further notice. What's your take on this? My take is this makes absolutely no sense. It doesn't solve the problem. Um, it cuts off the whole Mary Water part of Nigeria Nollywood movies. It doesn't mean like this is not the solution to the problem. I get that they are sad and like it's a tragic thing, but. What does this do for us? Really? What does this do? There are a lot of just, stories that they, 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 I feel like they're just looking for somebody to blame. And that's a, that's very quick with Nigerians. They are, they, because they don't want to carry it or... Take responsibility Or for just have friends. the negative energy. They just, oh, you did it. Everybody, <laughs> Everybody rest. Oh, we've, we've, we've solved the problem. Move. We've solved the problems. Um, the other Stephen is also one of um, the producers and directors in Hollywood says, is that the solution? Shouldn't the focus be on safety, education, and enforcement? Mm -hmm. That's what it should be because there would still be more scripts. So now if you ban um, movies that have riverine areas that are set up, so more, okay, what about uh, movies that, for example, we have um, Paul Walker that died 
fast during fast and he was not fast and furious that he was not that doing fast and furious but now he was yeah still doing fast and furious do you understand fast and furious has gotten fast and furious 10 so even though it was it was not really on set but it was true fast cars and all of that so imagine you're you're shooting a movie that requires cars and whatnot and then somebody dies of an accident a car accident then you now say okay there will not be cars in any movie why do you even give that guy the right to say nobody should walk with that because he's the president the president of the guild that has has yeah he has the right (laughs) very fast conclusion the video pope made he was not on life jackets a professional like him should it be the work of a producer to provide life jackets Adam Maluk has become your scapegoat, but then she deserves what she gets. The welfare of actors but must be put to heart at all times. All producers should think outside the box. However, even the Titanic and Apocalypto movies were concluded safely. Sure. Please, why is that producer not arrested immediately? She should be arrested. She has killed Junior Pope and others. How on earth does she not care about their safety? Who made her producer? They think they can do it more than the professionals. Funny enough, you guys waited for such tragedy before coming up with precautionary measures. This is really sad. You all shouting at and look and life jacket this that. Is this the first time people filming on the big river like that? They are not God. They never knew something like this would ever happen. They are both collided with another boat which resulted to this. It's too early for this in a drama. Let the dead rest. Keep resting, sir. God knows the best. My own and nobody should blame her dad. Grown up man entered boat with a life jacket. They didn't force him. He didn't drink. He didn't think of the outcome. He should have refused to go on that journey, him and the others too, but they went ahead. No one should blame her dad because she didn't do anything wrong. This Adam Maluk will be in deep regrets forever. This incident will haunt her forever. She was the one of the boats who, and she didn't wear a life jacket. Has anyone also checked on her if she's fine? Y'all are bashing her. For what? Did she force them on the boat? This lady will not be able to forgive herself for this. She made a mistake, but let's not be too harsh on her before she commits suicide. So this one says, um, because of one local YouTube film, I pray she doesn't take her life. Well, let's all be cautious to avoid another death, please. It's not just the producer, it's a team and also the boat company. Some of these boat owners are very greedy. A boat meant for four will accommodate eight persons and life jacket will be provided. Lastly, everyone there is an adult and should be somehow responsible for their safety. Oh man, this producer will not forgive herself for because... Personally, I, the way I see it is, like, we as Nigerians, we like to live life on the edge. There, I don't even know if that place has been closed. Mm. But there is, um, this is Avenue, I think close to the Assets Bank that's there. Mm. There's like a huge gutter that's open there. I'm saying it now. So that everybody, there's a huge gutter that's open there. I remember working with me, um, Wisdom, me, and Laughing Mouth. Some of my colleagues were working. And we're walking, we're talking, and I literally had to scoot wisdom to the side. I don't know where it was wisdom or him or scoot wisdom, because he, they could have fallen into the ditch. And that's the thing with Nigerians, is until somebody dies. Until something happens. Is, is sometimes there are horrible roads, very horrible roads, and then you know when you have bad roads, and then they have to now use like a plank so, to cross so to the other yeah. side, or use one thing, and then people have to do temple run. So it's when somebody falls down, injures themselves, or drowns, or, or dies, or dies, or flood takes somebody away before they would decide to fix that road. And of, I'm sorry, but that's literally the case that's of this. People thing. do this every single every time. time. It's, but nobody has died yet. Do you understand? No, nobody has died, died yet. So like, I don't think. So. And while I understand that yes, it's the producer's fault, and because mm-hmm. the producer has to take like literally full responsibility of everything. everything. While I understand that, I also see the, the reason that like, Nigerians don't see the need to do anything to or do, to something bad. They don't happened. take precautionary at measures all. so i'm sure a lot of movies have been done like that, like that so like oh why would i get life jacket no, now worry, I won't die. Die. Don't worry, I won't die. because for him to even have mind to make that kind of video it's probably not his first time probably yeah. they've shot a couple of scenes because i know if i'm going to go on a boat ugh, please i'm holding myself wearing all the plastic <laughs> in the world everything that will lift me that will make me float because and that's just the, and that's just the, and you know the funny thing it might not necessarily even come to your mind yeah. if maybe the the um the people in charge don't bring it if it's not a requirement you might just think okay maybe nothing might really happen except maybe your yeah, campus is extra careful or you're extra paranoid or you whatever. know the crazy thing my father has life jackets in my house because my uncle is married to somebody that's from Portacourt so sometimes they go there oh. and don't my god my dad always stay prepared that's what I like <laughs> about him so I always he stays ready so he doesn't have to get ready every single time and then lastly lastly on the show we're still talking about this and we are beginning to see some of her colleagues Adam Malik's okay. colleagues bash her yes so we have Sarah Martins who Twitter uh, made this post and said, finally, we lost him. Very nonsense, low-budget movie, trying to raise local standards without providing the necessary amenities. Now we've lost a star, a father, a son, a brother, a husband, and innocent crew members hustling to fill, 
feed their families and I'm a look you do this one and while I don't know but like coming from a colleague like, what do you this think babe has probably never spoken to the guy that died for like months now and she's right. coming here like oh the brother the father the <laughs> son she's <laughs> <laughs> you know the brother the father so for me this is the I don't know I feel like I don't want to say it's cloud chasing but it's I feel serious. like it's very insensitive because this is your colleague in the industry and like, for you to bash when this movie comes out now she might also come out and be like oh if like nothing happened and the movie came out oh support my sister we made a movie that's definitely what she would have said and then coming out to say very nonsense low budget movie trying to raise local standards like from just your hating. own colleague in the, no this is just hatred please madam see what you are writing i don't like when i say for that nollywood and that country as a whole are you better than adam you could go and rest he wasn't the only one that got drowned but everybody they show love to who get money or fame True. what about those people that drowned with him and the funny thing is that we have two people that have not still seen their bodies so it's it's really 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 sad let's just not blame the movie producer alone Gino pope is well matured and educated enough to know the use of life jacket when transporting on waterway sad really rest on man everybody's a movie producer in nigeria no law no regulation no taxes no talent really? i pray she doesn't take her life oh, let's all be cautious to avoid another death please it's not just the producer it's a team and also the boat company some of these boat owners are like, very greedy I think that's basically all the comments that we have on this. And we're hoping, honestly, hearing things like this is very, very sad. Very, very, very sad, very jarring, and very triggering. Because I know people, they, they will say, oh, there's a time for everything. Death comes. When death comes knocking, you allow there, all those kind of things. But nothing really makes me sad than things avoidable, that can be avoidable. That can be avoidable. That can be, I don't even know things. I always say, say that can be avoidable. That can be avoidable. Anyone shall avoid. And he's a really young man. He's 39. It's yeah. not yet 40. So life begins at 40, so his life did not begin. Like, so, so, so sad. And Jeez, then he has, yeah. like, three boys. He has a wife, wife a young wife, a and family. a whole family left behind. And then she, what? Oh, for the grind. The last, there was one tweet. Somebody make something about let the money, let hustle not get Yeah, kill yeah, let's not die when we are get hustling for our daily bread. It's very, very, it's very crazy. sad. And I just, you know, our prayers are up and condolences with the family. The and hopefully family, yeah. the other, the families of the people that are not as popular as Junior Pope, because, you know, everybody, er, every life is important. Everybody yeah. means a lot to, he's to lucky whoever, and yeah. blessed enough to have like a fan base and be popular enough for everybody to care talk about to him. people, you know, people that care about him, people to talk about him in this manner. But then there are other people. And even Adam Maliu, honestly, I don't know what's going to be full of her because I think her career... A whole oh my God. It's going, to, it's going to be a whole change. Firstly, how is she going to even get to forgive herself for this? Because as well, Even if initially she didn't blame, she thought, oh, it was a mistake. Because of the whole... Social media, the backlash. She'd just be like, oh my God, what if, why didn't I? Why didn't I? What if I, I could have? Oh my God. It's, it's very crazy. crazy. Hollywood has lost another gem, and it's really, really sad. I, 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 I love to always do Afia TV official and do this show talking about trends and you know yapping and yapping. But you know, I'm not sure of words really, and we're already out of time. <laughs> so thank you so much, Naza, for you know, joining me on the program. When are you going to be done with school? Finally, finally. Sometime next year. Okay. You have exams coming up. What's your next exam? My next. Well, I always have tests, but my next major exam should be at the end of this year. Yeah. End of this year? Yeah. You have time. I'm bothering. Yeah. <laughs> this year is, I do mostly postings, like postings. hospital oh, rotations. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. All the best. All Thank the best. You. I hope Thank that you. when you become a doctor, you'll be a serious one. Because of the things we are hearing about you people nowadays. All you hear is plenty of bad buttons. <laughs> well, of course, thank you to our viewers for watching Afia TV Official today. And I remind you guys to follow us on our social media platforms at Afia TV Official. Um, Afia TV Official is every weekday on Afia TV, 5.30 to 6 p.m. My name is Favor Obinyeloba. Enjoy the rest of your day.